Hello, my people. Welcome back. Thank you so, so much for stopping by. My people, there is fire on the mountain. There is fire on the mountain. If you love me, Yolo Doshe, this is time for you to prove it. By going on your knee, praying for Mel Doshe and her children. Because the enemies want to strike for the second time. God forbid. God forbid, not for Mel Doshe, not for our Queen Me and her children. God forbid. Affliction will never rise for the second time in the life of Mel Doshe and her children. They will never succeed this time around. My people, you guys know before Cambridge died that it is a prophetess that called Yolo Doshe, this one now, face to face to my people, and told him what is about to happen. That he have to relate this prophecy to men so that they can join hands together to prevent the calamity that happened to Kambiri. But instead of Yolo Doshe to use his wisdom, according to this prophetess, she said she told Yolo Doshe what is about to happen to his first son, which is Kambiri, that he have to relate this to men so that they can join hands together to prevent the calamity that happened to Camp Berichuku. But what Yolo Doshe did, because Yolo Doshe did not have wisdom, he did not understand the prophecy. Instead, he went and related to Juju. It's like as if somebody told you that so so dead, the armed robbers are coming to rob you. Instead of you to guard your house very well, what he did is to go and relate it to the armed robbers. What do you expect? They will do everything possible in order to strike when they know that you are not around. And this is exactly what happened to Kambirichuku. Instead of Yolo Doshe to relate this to me so that they can join hands together to prevent the calamity that happened to Kambirichuku, because of Yolo Doshe did not have wisdom. He did not understand the prophecy. That is the reason why after Kambirichuku died, Yolo Doshe and Judy Austin came out and be dancing what the Lord have done for them. Because Yolo Doshe did not know what happened and did not know what is happening to him. My people, whatever Yolo is doing, Yolo is not doing it with his koro koro eyes. Like that man need our prayers as well. Because what is happening to Yolo Doshe, Yolo Doshe no understand. My people, before I go on, let me just allow you guys so that you guys can listen to this prophecy. Hmm. Affliction will never arrive for the second time in the life of May and her children. Let's listen to the prophecy and I will be right back. Ignorance is a disease. There will somebody come for um, me, Yolo Doji, to leave the husband's name. That is her identity. She cannot leave it. She bought the name. Do you hear me? May bless the name. It doesn't matter whether she's with a man or not. She's the brains. She's the reason why that name is what it is. You can't leave the name to somebody who is trying to ruin the name. Somebody who does not have the substance to keep the name or sustain the name. May bless the name. May, you know, don't you? Is the reason why a Dochi, Yolo Dochi, is what he is today. Nobody can neglect the place of a good wife. If you have a bad wife, you will fall. A man that has a bad wife cannot rise. So the reason why you rose to the stardom that you rose is because a woman was behind you to do it. So why would she leave the name? They are, those are demonic stands, even if a divorce goes through. That is her name. She built it. I will not walk and put something for somebody else to take. A name that I have built, I will retain till I go to the grave. She has every right, marriage or not marriage, to maintain. She has every right. Marriage or no marriage to maintain the name Yon Odoji because she bears the name. At least now we can see that she bears the name. I don't want to say certain things. At least now we can see that she bears the name, right? Because most men are foolish without a good wife. Some men lack the ability to make good decisions. They are foolish. The reason why you see a man come out 
and you see him display the glandeur, the 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 the, the, the you know, you see, you know, display glands, you know, everything is displaying, you know, it's because there's a woman out there that backs him up and tells him, you know, teaches him what to say outside. The outward thing you see a man display is from the inward thing that is done inside the house. So she's not an element for anybody. Hallelujah. One bad decision can throw you a thousand years back make the right decision i'm gonna just okay i'm just gonna say this we're talking about decision making last year 2023 as a matter of fact on the fe on february on february 2023 the third on fe uh, on the third of february 2023 i said said you know and i said I would like to have a word with you. And I did that because of the revelation I had about him and about his son. We spoke that day for over 40 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes actually. And because I was carried away with the talk, I even forgot to pray for him. That I had to text him back and I said, hey, I forgot to you know pray with you, but I did after the call. And on that fifth, after so many things that I told him, I told him what I saw happening to his first son. As at that time, they had already carried the son. But something could be done to bring him back to life. We'll make on our listing very so well. This is him. where Yolodoshe got confused. Yolodoshe did not understand the prophecy. That's why he did not act very well. That's why he did not relate this to Meodoshe. And at the end of the day, when uh, Kambiri Chukukpai, they came out and they be rejoicing because Yolodoshe did not understand the prophet. So make on our listing very well so that you understand what this prophetess said here. And I saw in a vision clearly who did it. And I called him and I told him. Now somebody is going to say, why, why are you saying it now? Somebody is going to say, why are you saying it now? I am saying it now because the same vision I saw. I am seeing it. But I am saying this to destroy and disgrace the works of the enemy. So that they will says, go. Get wisdom. Yolo Doshe did not understand it. Just little mistake. The last time I saw it, like, I told him hmm. so that he can make the wise decision. But he did not. February the 5th, I told him a lot of revelations and prophecy that I gave him. And I told him, I said, look, they want to kill your son. And this is going to happen a few weeks from now to months. I said, but God will turn the hand of the enemies. This is what you need to do. I even gave him the name of our church. I said, we are World Redemption Ministries. We can advance by the grace of God what they want, what they want to do. And I told him who was responsible, but I did not tell him outrightly. Because you know why? It is somehow to mention a name outrightly. But I gave him a parable for him to use his senses for. I gave him a parable for him to use his senses, use his tongue and count his teeth. I said, there was a woman who was beautifully married to a man. That's how I started. I said, for so many years they were married and had kids. The first child was a daughter and the second child was a son. And what I saw happen is, I saw that woman from another place that had... My people are not here waiting this prophet has said. Because when this thing happened, I was talking to someone. I said that Judy Austin thought when Cambria died, that her own son will now become the head of the family. And he is the one that goes to collect all the properties your Lodoshin and Meodoshin have. But she didn't know that the thing know they work like that. In some culture, in some tradition in our Igbo land, they know they work like that. My people, make with the listing. Another woman from another place that has other children. Some even older than this other woman's children came into the marriage and destroyed him. Destroyed
destroyed this marriage and sent the other one out of the marriage. But she was not satisfied because she was from a kingdom that likes the lead. A kingdom that don't want to be trained with another. A kingdom. And she told herself that if I take away this one, it means the inheritance will shift to my own because my own will become the first son. I told him exactly the story. I said what happened is after she had planned what to do to that boy, that they would, because the boy at that time was working as a security officer in the macro finance bank, that they were going to engineer some armed robbers in the spirit and make it look like a crime scene. And when they go, the guy was the one at working on that day and they were going to shoot the boy. And that is how he died, so that nothing would be tied to her. She did it in a way where she would be exempted from anything. I'm not going to come shoot people so when you want mode. I said, but the God of Revelation revealed the plans of the enemy, revealed the plans of that stepmother concerning the son of that woman that has not wronged her. I said, on the crossover nights, they went to a church. I even mentioned the church. And the prophet of God, who does not know this family from anywhere, mentioned the name of the boy, mentioned the place that he was, and told them that on this day, in March, this is going to happen to your son. On this day in March, this is going to happen to your son. And we saw that he was the one walking on that day and at the gate. When they came, he was the first one that shot. And the man of God said, stop walking there. I will give you a job. Come. Don't go there anymore. And that was how the life of that God boy was preserved. Because even the stepmother started asking and sending their mistress to go and check. This is not somebody from far. It's with him. It is a confirmed story. But I gave him as a parable. I said, please pray for your son. I said, please pray for your son. I am seeing him taken away like that. I said, the name of our church is one redemption ministries. We can advance the plans of the enemy concerning your family. And I told him, I said, God is going to also reveal this truth to you. If he has revealed it to me. He said, yes, ma'am. Thank you, Pastor. Sincerely, I thought he was going to make the right decisions. Because we're talking about decision making. I thought his eyes were going to be opened after that revelation. I thought he was going to share with his wife, me. I did not have May's number. I would have told her. Sincerely, I did not have a number. I know I one time even tested her on Instagram. She did not respond. After some days, I deleted the text. I didn't have a number, but I felt the father of the child would be worried. That is how tell, that is to tell you how deeply his issues are. The next month, I spoke to him February the 5th. The next month, I heard a boy died. I screamed. I said, did this man not do anything? I was waiting for him to contact us. Did he not do anything? You know, so many people are saying, why are you saying it now? Why did he not say it then? I did not say it then because I'm not the clouds chaser. I have given so many prophecies to dignitaries, politicians. I don't need to blow any trumpets. If God reveals, I give. I did not say it then because I'm not the cloud chaser. But I am saying it now because I want to disgrace their plans again. You know that I said it in the close. I said it to only the father. Before it happened. But now I am saying it to the world. Let nothing happen to May's children again. If anything happens, hmm, go to anywhere, do consultations and see if the answer will not be what I have said. But nothing will happen. What I have done now is going to disgrace their plans and put them on a hold, if not a stop. That woman has not done anything to you. Leave her alone. Hallelujah. My people, I hope you guys heard what this prophetess said. Like wisdom is profitable. Like if any man lack wisdom, eh, his own don't finish. 
like his own don't finish. Because of Yolo Doshino gets any wisdom. That's why he misinterpreted what the prophet has said. Instead of him to tackle the issue, what he did is to go and relate it to the person that wants to carry out the operation. They said they are trying to strike for the second time. But this time around, God has already exposed them. They are powerless right now. They cannot do anything again because the whole world have had it. Before it was only Yolo Doshi and he did not act like a man. He did not act well. That's why it can't be rich equal life. Just cut short. My people, this time around, this is time to join hands together to pray for Mary Odoshe and her children. That affliction will never rise for the second time again in their life. My people, please share this video. Send it to your pastors, your prayer groups, any place you want this video to go, let it go. So that people, the whole world will join hands together to pray for Mary Odoshe and her children. Thanks so much everyone for watching. I'm going to see you guys in my next update. Bye bye for now.